A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Ram, and Ram the father of Aminadab, and Aminadab the father of Nashon, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse, and Jesse the father of David the king. And David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah, and Solomon the father of Rehoboam, and Rehoboam the father of Abijah, and Abijah the father of Asaph, and Asaph the father of Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, and Joram the father of Uzziah, and Uzziah the father of Jotham, and Jotham the father of Ahaz, and Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, and Hezekiah the father of Manasseh, and Manasseh the father of Amos, and Amos the father of Joseah, and Joseah the father of Jeconiah and his brothers, at the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shealtiel, and Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel the father of Ebuid, and Ebuid the father of Eliakim, and Eliakim the father of Azor, and Azor the father of Zadok, and Zadok the father of Ashim, and Ashim the father of Eliud, and Eliud the father of Elizar, and Elizar the father of Matan, and Matan the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David were fourteen generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon, fourteen generations, and from the deportation to Babylon to the Christ, fourteen generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Christ. Praise the Lord. Today we begin the final week before the celebration of Christ's birth. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ we read today reveals his human ancestry. The gospel does not present the genealogy of Jesus with a boastful exaltation. The list of his ancestors shows that they were mostly ordinary human beings with their own limitations and weaknesses. Jesus was born of the lineage of David, but David himself had his weaknesses and imperfections. It shows that in his perfect solidarity with humans, God in Jesus Christ chose to be among the imperfect and sinful people and was born of an imperfect and sinful ancestry. Jesus pierces through all social barriers of division, rejection and segregation. By his birth, he wants to reconstruct a society free from all these differences. Although sinless he was, he came to redeem the sinful world. Christmas thus is the story of the depth of God's love, born in human flesh and blood. Today, our society in which we live is sharply divided by caste, language, race, rights, etc. 
But Jesus invites us to look beyond these narrow categories and to rise above all our differences and rediscover our oneness and togetherness in the word made flesh, Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, all of us are created in the image and likeness of God, our Father. You came to a sinful world in total solidarity with us to redeem those who are under the yoke of sin. Help us to rise above our differences and accept everyone as our brothers and sisters as you accepted us. Help us to prepare ourselves in mind and heart, body and soul for the birthday of your son so that the coming feast of Christmas may be a meaningful one for each one of us and for our families. Heal and free the world from the COVID-19 pandemic and renew it according to your will and plan. Amen.